How does microfiber pollution impact fish? I am Dr. Lisa Erdahl, an ecotoxicologist investigating the sources, fate, and effects of microfibers. We know that microfibers from textiles, they come from things like clothing and home goods, can be found in habitats and wildlife around the world. But I was curious to know how different microfiber types and associated chemicals impact fish. For 28 days, rainbow trout were exposed to cotton or polyester microfibers with or without chemicals. We measured their growth, survival, fatty acid profiles, and bioaccumulation of PBDEs, a class of flame retardant chemicals that are commonly used in textiles. Our study found that both synthetic and non-synthetic microfibers impact trout. Interestingly, fish-fed cotton had higher concentrations of some chemicals, but while plastic pose other threats like how persistent they are in the environment, our research found that all microfibers should be considered when we're developing solutions. Fortunately, there already are proven solutions to reduce microfiber emissions, including requiring washing machine filtration and making changes at the design and manufacturing level of textiles. Microfibers are one of the most abundant type of microplastic pollution. We also see these natural fibers too, found in the air that we breathe, the water we drink, and in our own bodies. But it's not just about rainbow trout. We all need a future free of microplastic pollution.